With practice it, exercise 5.14 has midpoint. We're going to write a method named has midpoint, and it's going to accept three integers as parameters, returning true if one of the integers is a midpoint between the two other integers. So how I'm going to do this is I'm actually going to look back to the previous problem we did, and it's in the playlist link below the like button. And in this problem, we found a minimum, we found a max, and then we found our middle. And we just had a different type of return. Now, we're going to do basically the same thing. So what we can do is actually copy over this code. Again, if you want to see it, it's in the playlist linked below the like button in the description. So we're going to paste this in here. We're still returning a Boolean. The only thing is that we are changing our method header. We are still taking three integers as parameters. We're finding the minimum, max, and middle. Now, what we need to do is we need to see if the middle is between our minimum and our max. So what we're going to do is change this return statement because it's a different type of return. And we have to note that a minimum plus a max divided by two will give us the middle of what's in between. So what we can say is that if our, and we'll do this in parentheses, minimum plus the max divided by two is equal to our mid, then that means this middle is the middle of here. And that value is going to be in here. And that only works because we've already sorted this. So if we press submit here, it's gonna contact server, run the test. We've passed 11 out of 12 tests. We are missing one here. And the reason why we're missing one here is because when we have the minimum as one and the maximum as four, we're gonna add these together. That's gonna give us five. Five divided by two is 2.5. Now, um, this is going to give us a, in, a true result right here for this code. And the reason why it's gonna give us a true result is because, well, if we have five divided by two, it's gonna give us, like I said, 2.5, but since it's an integer, it's gonna round it down to two. So that means two is gonna be equal to this mid right here. And that's got why our output returns true, but it should return false because 2.5 does not equal to two. So what we can do instead of working with ints is change this to be doubles. So this is a double, this is a double, and this is a double. And if we resubmit this, pass all 12 tests. And so with that done, with that known, we have done exercise 5.14, which has had midpoint.